If you ever install tile, you need to see this, the difference between success and failure. So, does keying in your substrate really make a difference? So, what's keying in? Well, you get the back side of the trowel if you're going over plywood, if you're going over curdy board, if you're going over duroc or cement board or whatever it is you're going over, is flat siding the back with the back of the trowel to push the mortar into the substrate really going to make a difference uh, on bond strength. So I'm going to do a little test and we're going to, I'm going to show you what the difference actually is when you key in the, um, the substrate before you spread the thin set, before you notch it out, and if you don't key in the substrate. So one side is going to be, I'm going to key it in with the thin set, just with the flat side, and the other side I'm just going to leave the raw substrate and, 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 and do the test that way. And then the next day we're going to take those, those apart and see which one actually held better. So this is very important. If you before when you always should always key in your substrate when you're spreading your thin set so you get a superior bond. And, and this is actually gonna, gonna show you what that difference is. So I got a piece of curly board here. It's a plain old piece of curly board. So I'm gonna key in this side. The keying in is just forcing the center inset so this side is keyed in and this side is just left alone what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a block of inset and just drop it on and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just drop it on. I'm going to let those set. I'm not going to touch them. I'm not going to do anything to them. I'm just going to leave them like this until tomorrow. And then tomorrow we'll test if keying in the thin set actually makes a difference. Okay, so this is the one that I keyed in, and this is the one that I didn't key in. Now let's see how hard it is to get this off as compared to this one. See, that's coming off in a million pieces. It's really stuck on there. And let's try this one now. See how this one comes off. See that? This one here, I can't, it's coming off. Like, it's still the next day, so it's still pretty soft. So that's why it's crumbling up like that. But it's stuck on there. It's really stuck on there. But this one here just popped right off. Okay, so why does that happen? Well, when you key in your substrate, what you're doing is you're forcing the thin set into all the little cracks and crevices of the substrate, whether it be curdy board or a plywood or a cement board or whatever. So you're forcing the, the, the thin set, the mortar, into that, that surface so it penetrates into the substrate that you're going to uh, install your tile on. So you're pushing with the flat side of the trowel, you're mechanically pushing the thin set into that, that area. And then the crystals can grow and, and expand and penetrate deeper and deeper into the substrate to get a really good bond. When you just drop it on top, you're just dropping it on, on the surface and whatever adhesive strength it'll gain is when the crystals grow into the, the substrate without having been 
fill first to help uh, engage the, 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 the adhesive quality of the thin set into the substrate that you're um, installing your tile on. So that's why it's very important to make sure that your surface is clean because you don't want to want those pores and all those 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 places where the thin set has to penetrate. You don't want that to be filled with anything else. You want the thin set to penetrate into that. So you want it to be clean and then you also want it to be, um, if, it's a, if it's a porous product, you want it to be a damp so that it doesn't pull the moisture out of the thin set and cause it to um, stop curing prematurely. If you've got uh, a porous substance, <clears throat> the thin set gains its strength by growing crystals and interlocking and, uh, and, and getting harder and harder and penetrating into the, into the su substrate and in the mortar itself as the crystals grow it uh, creates uh, a strong material. Now this was just done one day after so it was still fairly damp, it wasn't that hard, but you could still see the difference between the one that I dropped on and the one that I, I had to, um, that, I, that I just, you know, that I had, had um, keyed in the surface first. So that is very important to make sure that you key in your substrate, have a clean, have a damp if it's porous, so that the um, moisture doesn't get pulled right out of the thin set and it has the opportunity to cure and grow those crystals and get a great bond. So just in case you haven't seen my videos before, my name is Sal de Blasi. Being a con tile contract in the Boston area for over 35 years, my YouTube channel has over 780 videos, uh, pretty much all to do with tile. So leave your comments in the comment section. Check me out on Patreon. If you can support me, that would be great. I'll also leave a bunch of links to my favorite tools in the description. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot. And also ring the notification bell so you get notified every Saturday morning when I upload a new video. Thanks a lot. Bye.